Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Camilla Nay, and I thank you guys so, 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 so much for clicking this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below because I don't know why you're not subscribed to the channel yet. Because this channel is just going to be full with tips, tricks, coaching, and the whole 50 yards that you need in this industry. So, let's just get straight to the video because that's why I clicked it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys some details on about choosing a monologue. This is kind of like just my, well of course it's my personal opinion. Most of the things are my opinion anyway. <laughs> but... I want to tell you guys like how I pick my monologues and how do I make it easy for myself to pick the right monologue and make sure it's the right monologue and yeah let's get straight into the video. Now the one thing about picking your own monologue you are able to you you have the advantage to pick your own monologue so it's not like you're going to an audition and they have a monologue or a sick or whatever a monologue ready for you. You have the chance and the opportunity to pick your own monologue. So that's a really, really great thing because now it's like, okay, now you know what you're comfortable with doing. You know what you're comfortable acting. You know, you just know what you want to do. <laughs> so now I'm going to say, when you pick a monologue, you want to make sure you understand the character. Because if you don't understand the character, it's going to be kind of hard for you to understand the situation to be able to act it now some people are like oh well you don't need to understand it to act it but i'm telling you acting is understanding that character putting yourself in that situation and acting that person that character so to do a monologue you want to make sure you understand that character if you understand that character it will be so much easier for you to actually just act the character just understand the character Make sure you understand it. Because if you don't understand a character and you're just like, what? And you don't get it and you just have a f billion, 50 billion questions to ask. It's like, okay. Well, you, sh you shouldn't do that monologue. Because if you can't understand that character, you shouldn't do the monologue. You should understand the character. Hear where the character is coming from. See where the character is coming from. Put yourself in that position. If you can't do it, that's not the right monologue for you. Now, you want to make sure you pick a monologue that's good for your age and your gender because you don't want to pick a monologue and you're 13 years old and you're picking a monologue for a 24-year-old. Or you don't want to be female and picking a male monologue. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You want to make sure that the monologue fits you, um, your age bracket, your sex. You get what I'm saying? You want to make sure it fits you like that because if you go and even say, for example, you're like... 30 years old and you go in and do like a like a high school monologue they're going to look at you like that's going to be kind of weird to them because they're going to see that you're a 30 year old lady or in her 30 years old or 30 year old male whatever and then you're doing a teenage monologue it's like so make sure the monologue that you're doing fits your yourself in general you want to make sure it's not hard for you to play that part. Because if, hard, if it's hard for you to play that part, I'm telling you, it's just it's not going to be easy for you. And that's what I'm saying. The one thing about picking a monologue, it's an advantage. You're taking advantage of the situation if you have to perform this at an audition, if you have to perform it for a casting director, if you have to do like an online tape, self-tape, or whatever. You're having an advantage by picking your monologue. You want to make sure it fits you, is good, and that you can play that part. If you cannot play that part, go find another monologue. Because now, the good thing about this is you can pick what you want to do. It's not like you have somebody like handing you a piece of paper like, here, yeah, this is what you have to read. It's like you have thousands and thousands of options. It's a bunch of online, um, like free places, where, uh, free online sites and stuff where you can find monologues. So just look and find the right one for you. Make sure you can play that part. Because if you cannot play that part, then you need to find another one where you do really, really good. You can play that part like excellent. I try to say don't pick anything that's like boring. Not, I'm not going to say boring. Don't pick anything that's like everyday casual like hey girl, I want to go to the store. Like, oh, what's up dude? You want to go to the mall? Or you want to go to the movies, I don't know what guys say, but you know what I'm saying, you, you want to make sure you do something like strong and bold and memorable, because if you do like everyday, simple, boring stuff, they're not going to remember you, but if you do something strong, you're crying, you're furious, you're like psycho, <laughs> I don't know, but 
those type of monologues really grabs the casting director's attention because that shows a lot, a lot of acting skills right there. So when they see that and they see that all in the monologue and then you have the monologue memorized, it's just like, oh my God, this is awesome. Like, it's just really talent. Like, in their face, they're just going to be looking like, talent 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 talented people like that's how they're going to be looking at well talented person whatever but they're going to look at you and they're going to look at you as a talented talented person if you could do a monologue that's real bold real strong it shows the in and outs of emotions you're mad you're angry you're sad you're crazy psycho whatever like that really shows emotion but then when you do like the basic monologues that's just like Oh, um, I'm walking. I'm going to the mall with my friends today, or um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the basketball court, or whatever. Like what the guys say, but like you just want to do stuff that's just different and outstanding, and that's just gonna make the casting directors remember you. Because for the whole reason for you to have this monologue is to think, okay, I might have to perform this in front of casting directors. So I want to make sure this is a great monologue. This is an awesome monologue. This is a strong, strong monologue. You want to make sure your monologue is strong. Now, after you get this together, just memorize it. Memorize the monologue. Practice, 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 practice. Practice so much and pretty sure you're good. <laughs> that's just how you pick a monologue. I don't know. Uh, that's just, I would, that's just bleh, I can't even talk. That's just what I was saying. Just, it's simple. It really is simple. It's not really that big of a deal. But I hope you guys were helpful. I mean, this video was helpful for you guys because... This was just a short one. I thought that somebody asked me this on my Instagram. So I was just like, let me make a video. But I thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And please keep, um, I said, keep, I'm sorry. My mind is all over the place tonight. I had, I had a long, long, crazy day. But anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please keep coming back for more. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah.